your plan? Oh, my plan is to put the middle rafter in first, so that way we can take out any um, bow that might be in the wall. The wall could be out or it could be in. So we're gonna take, we know it's eight feet across on either end, so we're gonna measure eight feet across and um, use this middle rafter as kind of a brace. And then that way I feel pretty confident putting in all the rest so we don't have any kind of wobbly walls. Okay. We'll see, that's the theory. So what I've done is I've measured from the outside of this wall to the outside of that wall, and we're still at exactly eight feet. So we're gonna put in the middle rafter just to hold these walls so that when I'm up here working and installing the rest of them, uh, the walls don't bow out and I don't end up um, with those wobbly walls I talked about. Yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna sit it right on top of these studs. All right, so um, what I'm gonna need from you is one of these rafters and a nail gun. Okay. Which I can... Yeah, I'm going to slide it. I just didn't want to catch your fingers. Hey, you want to use the bucket truck? <laughs> On the other side, you can just go right across and go... <laughs> That'd be kind of neat, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, though. I, I, I don't know. Well, no, if I... Well, I'm just thinking... We're getting there. What are you doing right now? Well, this is a little experiment. Um, there's a little bit of a, the wall bows out just a little bit in this area, maybe about a quarter of an inch. So I want to pull that in before I continue with my uh, rafters. We have a nice straight line on each um, uh, side, you know, edge of the roof. Right, the, All right, that was the last one to secure on this side. We'll do the other side.
you a monkey or Spider-Man? Uh, I'm the Green Goblin. <laughs> Good. They look really good. <laughs> sure. Well, we're inside a yeah, half, a half um, sheathed tiny house. No roof yet. It'll all come tomorrow. This will look much different tomorrow. Just a little preview.